Have I even addressed the fact that there's a horse behind me? Beans make a dance. Beans make a dance. It looks nasty, but it's homemade. Kinda. <laughs> Well, it's official. We survived another year around the sun. Not gonna lie, there were moments during that last year that I was not sure we were gonna make it, but we did. Woo! As I was scrolling on the social medias, I recently heard this man say this statement, and for some reason it really stuck with me. Not a lot of statements that men make stick with me, but this one did. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. You cannot change your life unless you change something. I'm 24 now, and I think I've always wanted to change, but I've made myself so small in my mind that I never thought I could be bigger than my issues or be stronger than my issues, and I've realized in the past two months that I can't continue living that way. So this year I'm going to document me actually trying to change my life. When it's difficult, when it's easy, when I'm happy, when I'm sad, we're actually going to do it this year. So these are my goals for 2023. These are little things that I'm changing to hopefully help me break the cycle that I've been in my entire adult life. My title for this year is... 2023, the year we end the cycle, AKA the year we start finally living. I'm gonna become the main character of my story and the only person that can do that for me is me. But I'm convinced that 2023 is gonna be the year that I actually like life. It's gonna be difficult, but I'm going to document my journey. I think this season of my channel is just going to be breaking the cycle. I can't be the only one that goes through a cycle of anxiety and depression, woe is me, and just expecting life to get better. I'm gonna be really intentional this year. I have goals. I'm gonna go throughout my day today, and I'm going to share my goals with you guys as we go. The first one, I was inspired by Carrie Dayton to do this. Delete food delivery. Apps. I'm staring at Uber Eats and DoorDash right now. Also, don't ask me why I have 20,000 unread emails. That can be a 2024 thing. I'm just gonna start with the hardest thing. Remove app, delete app, delete. Woo! Okay, Uber Eats, remove app, delete app, delete. And I'm not downloading them back. How many of these am I supposed to take? One of the things you guys told me to do during Vlogmas a lot was take magnesium. Since then I've done some research and it seems like it has a lot of benefits. Food delivery apps. I think food delivery apps can be a great thing and they have a time and a place, but I misuse them. In fact, I would say most of the food that I ate in 2022 came from DoorDash. If I added up the amount of money that I spent on DoorDash compared to, let's say, a grocery store. By the way, I'm using the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. Anyways, what was this? You know, I know I had a point. Oh, I almost forgot to turn on my happy light. Ah! We're trying to fight seasonal depression. It's a bitch. Oh, food delivery apps. As someone with an eating disorder, I have turned to food delivery apps almost every single day. Most of the time, I wouldn't be willing to get in my car and drive to go get the food. The accessibility of it is just dangerous for me personally. And if I compared the money that I spent on DoorDash to that at the grocery store, it would just be ridiculous. I need to learn how to grocery shop. Spoiler alert, that's on the list. I actually saw a girl make a TikTok of herself comparing all of her costs for food. I think she spent around 10 grand on DoorDash and only two grand at the grocery store. Mine is probably worse than that. I don't think I've even spent $2,000 at a grocery store. So I deleted the apps. I'm not gonna let myself download them. That is not me saying that I'm not gonna eat out or I'm never going to have fast food or I'm never going to go out to dinner or lunch or breakfast. That's not realistic. It is me saying that if that is something I want, I need to physically get in my car and go get it. The reality of it is that's probably gonna eliminate 90% of the times that I would be eating. It's the embarrassing reality. We all have our own vices. We all struggle with our own things. Mine just happens to be food. What pushed me over the edge was seeing that Carrie Dayton deleted the apps. I said, you know what? Me too. What a way to start off a day. Taking a shower, taking care of our skin, deleting our little b friends off our phone that make us gain weight. Just because I deleted them doesn't mean it's just easy now. Like I'm gonna have the urge to download them for sure. We just have to be stronger than our urges. I think I've made myself out to be a weak person in my mind. My issues and my disorders and my mental health problems, whatever it may be, are stronger than me. And I think that's the mindset that I've had. There's nothing I can do about it. No matter what I do, it's not gonna be enough. I'm not gonna be strong enough. <laughs> Why did it smell like shit? Did I fart and not know it? Hey buddy, did you take a shit? Yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I guess we'll never know. I just want to say a huge thank you to Upside for sponsoring this video. Best sponsor ever to ring in the new year. Inflation has all of us thinking about different ways that we can cut back in our life to save a little money here, to save a little money there. You might be driving less, you might be eating out less, you might be spending less at the grocery store, and there's nothing fun about less. But thanks to Upside, you guys do not have to cut back on anything. No more less. Upside allows you to get cash back on gas, groceries, and dining out. All of our favorite things. I personally use Upside the most at the gas station. It's so helpful. If I could only tell you the amount of free tanks of gas that I've gotten because of Upside. It's easily the smartest decision that I have made because I'm already spending money on gas. Why would I not take two seconds and give the cash back for it? To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play and use my promo code Samantha and get $5 or more back on your first purchase of $10 or more. And when you're in the Upside app, you're going to claim whatever offer it is that you want. You check in at the business when you get there, pay as usual with your debit or credit card, and then you're going to get paid. It's really that easy. You can cash out at any time to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon or other brands. And Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. And that's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating in the App Store. Once again, a huge thank you to Upside for sponsoring this video. Download the app, save yourself some money, use my code Samantha, you're not gonna regret it. I got home last night from my trip to Florida. You can see I still have my Christmas tree up. All of my Christmas decorations are still up downstairs. One of the things on my to-do list today is to go get bins to put everything in. I got home and my room was an absolute mess last night. You can't see it, but I have a bunch of stuff to bring downstairs. There's a big box of trash in my bathroom. I have a basket of dirty clothes to do for my trip. I listed a bunch of stuff on Depop last night. There was just things all over my room and it was really messy. I knew I was gonna film this video today because I wanna get back to work and get back talking to you guys because I'm not letting myself get disconnected this year. Not happening. Mm -mm. What was I saying? <gasps> I'm also gonna go get ADHD medication this year because it's really bad. I'm not functioning. I laid in bed last night after telling myself that I was going to clean up my room before I went to sleep. That way I would have a nice, easy, chill morning to film for you guys. And I was laying in bed doing what I always do and just telling myself that I'm gonna do it tomorrow. If someone asks me what my superpower is, the only thing I'm good at is procrastinating. It's not my best quality. I was checked out for the night. I did not plan on doing anything else except sleep because I was telling myself I would just wake up a little bit earlier and clean my room in the morning before I started filming. And then I said to myself, that mindset is the mindset you've always had. That's exactly what 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, 2018 Samantha would have done. I said, do you want to be different this year? And then I said, yeah, that would be really nice. And so I got up and cleaned up my room for the most part. It's not perfect, but it's so much better than it was. I did it before I went to sleep, which might not seem like a big win, but it's a good start. I think I actually put too much of the K18 in my hair and it's making it greasy. So I stopped blow drying it, and instead I put makeup on to make me feel pretty. Before I go downstairs, I want to talk about a couple more of my goals, just because that's what we're here for. These ones are quick. I want to journal more because I feel like it'll be good to look back on. I do think I might be more of a journaling at night type of girly. I don't want to use my phone for the first 30 minutes to hour after I wake up. I don't want the first thing that I do in the morning to be looking at my phone and comparing myself to people on the internet. I think that's very counterproductive. So instead I'm going to either get up and just get my day started right away or read a book, but I'm not going to go on my phone for the first 30 minutes to an hour after I rise from my bed. One thing I'm not cutting out completely is caffeine, but I am going to start Start limiting my caffeine to either one coffee in the morning or one drink like a Celsius or something. Coffee is less caffeine though, so. Do I even have milk to make a latte? <laughs> Am I allowed to wear this? I see straight sized people wearing stuff like this all the time. For some reason, I feel like in society, it's not appropriate for me to wear it. I didn't even tell you where it's from. This is from Buff Bunny. They have a new collection coming out on the 7th. It's their storm collection. If you have side fats, side boobies, side chunks, these, just like I do, you have to get this bra. I think it's my new favorite bra. I'm securely in it. It's comfortable. It's not riding down. It's thick material. The straps are thin, but they're holding the girlies up. Never been good with like what the materials are called. It's the softest, stretchiest, heaviest, but in a good way. Well-made material I've ever felt in my entire life. It's not what I was expecting, but I'm very content with it. But we're down here to make coffee. Let's do it. I've held you guys hostage and forced you to watch me make coffee one too many times. Today we're gonna talk while I make coffee instead. Because what else is Samantha Joe good at? Talking. 
My next goal for this year is to make less excuses. I feel like I'm the queen of making excuses for myself. I kind of mentioned that earlier when I said I sometimes use my mental health and stuff as an excuse as to why my life is just never gonna be good. Anything in life that I don't do either right or fully or whatever, I have an excuse for it. I wanna stop making so many excuses. I'm not saying mental health is never a valid excuse. Mental health can be very debilitating. Also, at some point, I have to kind of push myself in the right direction. So I want to make a conscious effort to make less excuses. Fiends make mistakes. Fiends make mistakes. I feel like I kind of touched on this already when I talked about the fact that I cleaned my room last night instead of just laying in bed. When I'm doing things or I feel like I might be procrastinating, I wanna say the statement, is this making me 1% better or 1% worse? So last night when I was laying in bed with my eyes closed, slumbering away, I said, is this gonna make my life 1% better tomorrow or 1% worse? I said, it's gonna make myself 1% worse if I don't get this done right now. So I got up and I did it. That statement comes from Atomic Habits. I'm gonna reread that book actually. It's been almost a full year since I read it last. So I feel like it's time for a little refresh. Plus I feel like I'm in mental space this year to put a lot more of what I learned in that book into actions, like apply the principles to my life. I'm 24 years old. I know that's not old, but it's also almost halfway through my 20s. I have made the same excuses for myself every single year. If I keep doing that, I'm gonna look back on my whole 20s, wishing I would have just done the things that I told myself I was gonna do. Wishing that I buckled down and put in the hard work to make my life better. For some reason, I just feel in my soul that's this year. It's not the holidays anymore. We're just going for vanilla latte. I have the syrup in here so it, the shot doesn't burn. Some milk. Ice cubes. How cute is my coffee stirrer that I got from a shop of things in East Nashville? It's just a fun little touch. Things like this coffee stirrer make the little moments in life more enjoyable. I've gotten so good at this, I could make it in my sleep. I just need some better beans. Right now we're working with Starbucks Blonde Espresso. I want some good local beans. My car is packed full of things, but I needed to get a car wash as a quick little errand before I go to the store. That way I have like a clean vehicle to put my stuff in. I just got back from a road trip, so there's a lot going on in this car. I'm gonna try and consolidate all of the mess into the trunk, and then I'll deal with the trunk when I get home. Hopefully it fits. where I keep my wipes. Give everything a little wipe down. I usually am more thorough than this, but today we're going for fast efficiency, kind of a bare minimum. That took maybe 15 minutes of my life and I'm a little bit more organized. Okay, it's time for one of my least favorite adult tasks ever, getting gas. Before I came over here, I looked on my Upside app to make sure that I could get a good deal. Let's make sure I'm at the right gas station. 11 cents back on each gallon of gas here. I know they're sponsoring this video, but I can't tell you enough to use Upside. It's the one thing in 2022 that I think I did right, was saving money with Upside. cost me $38 and 14 cents. I'm gonna put this in the upside app now. Sometimes it doesn't make you put a receipt in, but for this one, it's making me do a receipt. Taking a picture of the receipt, upload. It's that simple, no tricks. The reason that this is really fitting for this video is one of my goals is to be more mindful of the money that I'm spending and to just be smarter with my money. I don't need to bore you with the same stuff again. I already talked about this during Vlogmas, but it's such an embarrassing thing to admit, but like I've used shopping as coping mechanisms for any emotion really but it started from when I was a kid. I think because of that, I've accumulated a lot of things and being an influencer, you get sent things for free. I think in the past couple years, I haven't been very smart with the way I spend my money or budget it or anything like that. In 2023, I wanna be better about that. Online shopping has made overspending so much easier. Sometimes even spending money that you don't have. So fun. I've done a lot of things to help me with that. I opened a new bank account and I've only been using that bank account. And the only money that I have in that account is from money that I get from selling my clothes on Depop. I think I'm guilty of not treating my things very well because a lot of the things that I have people would love to have and they would kill to have and I'm not fully explaining anything in this video. When I buy something, I should treat it with the respect 
that it deserves because money doesn't grow on trees. I shouldn't just throw it around my room or leave it on the floor or toss it to the side. If I'm only buying things that I really want, that I have thought about for a while, or that I need for my house, whether it be like something to organize something, when I buy it, I need to treat it with respect. I need to be mindful when I'm buying it. Not only will that help me save money, it'll reduce clutter. I won't have so many things all over. I have way too much stuff. I've been trying to get rid of stuff. And then not having so much stuff everywhere will help my mental health. I won't feel like I'm having to clean 24 seven. The root of the problem, buying too many things and not treating the things that I have with respect. So that's what we're gonna change. I don't wanna continue living my life like that. It's something that I'm working on and I wanna treat the things that I have with the respect that they deserve. Only buy things that I need or that I feel like will make my life better. Like my coffee stirrer. I bought that a while ago, okay. I don't know if that made sense, but it's something that I really want to try and focus on. So little things like this, like using upside, I can save money on something that I'm already spending money on. It's such an easy thing to do. It takes two seconds. Pick a gas station. It makes me feel like I'm being smarter with my money. Speaking of, I have to go to Target to get bins to put all my Christmas decorations in. And I'm going in with that purpose. That's all I need at Target. I'm not saying I'm never going to buy things for myself or treat myself or order anything on Amazon. I just am saying that when I'm ordering something or I'm going to buy something, I'm going to ask myself the question, like, why are you buying? this what are you feeling right now is this something that you actually need if I see something on TikTok that I think is cool that I want to buy I'm gonna like write it in a notes app if I'm still thinking about it in like a month then I can buy it along with that for every new clothing item I'm buying I'm getting rid of one I've been really good about selling my stuff on Depop recently over the next couple weeks I'm gonna get everything that I have organized and super clean and just go through my things and see the things that I need versus the things that I don't to try and eliminate clutter clutter with mental health problems doesn't work when I do want some new clothes I am just going to make sure that I am either don't donating or selling other clothes, if that makes sense. If I get a new sweater, I should get rid of a sweater. With all that being said, I need buckets from Target. And it's getting dark. When is it gonna be summer? And the sun is out all the time. I'm still in my car because I realized that my work call starts in 28 minutes. And I know that I have to use the restroom, so I don't trust myself to go into Target, use the bathroom, get my bins, and exit in 28 minutes. I don't know what's gonna happen when I enter the bathroom. That's a risky situation. I would rather hold it for the next hour, because it's a 30 minute phone call, than go in and risk missing this, than going in and risking my work appointment, than going in and risk, than going in and risk, uh, than going in and risking missing my work call. Work calls and adult things is actually on my list for 2022 of things that I need to get better at. Face adult tasks instead of avoid them. I put off anything adult and serious, whether it be, I think I might have said this already, taxes or people that need to call you and ask you questions or talking to brands and talking to my management. I don't like adult things. One of the things that gives me anxiety is like phone calls and dealing with things. I'd rather put it off. I've said yes to a lot more work calls recently and I'm gonna continue to do that. And in order to stick to that, I can't miss this phone call. So we're just gonna sit here. Me and my horse. Have I even addressed the fact that there's a horse behind me? We've been on quite the journey together. Suits are out. How cute is this? Nope. We're only here for bins. Eye on the prize. Eye on the prize. Doesn't look like we have many Christmas options left. But I do see two of these and they say they're ten dollars. <laughs> survived Trader Joe's, barely. I have had to pee since I was at the car wash, but I got everything that I needed from Trader Joe's. I'll do a haul when I get home. I just wanted to say, if you came up to me in Trader Joe's and I gave you a hug, I'm so sorry, I'm incredibly awkward. I don't even think I got to ask you what your name was. So please comment on this if you're watching this because I love you. It made my day. Let's do a Trader Joe's haul. Also, update on the girl from Trader Joe's. Her name is Julia. She DM'd me on Instagram. I'm really happy I saw it and I was very forward and I told her that she should get coffee with me because I think a lot of the reason I feel like I'm missing out on life is because I'm a hermit and I don't really communicate with other people. If I even just experienced humans more. Julia, sippy sippy. 
let's get coffee. Anyways, Trader Joe's haul. For one of my vegetables, I got this spring mix so I can have salads. My other vegetable of choice is green beans. I have frozen chicken in the freezer, so that is one of my proteins. For carbs, I have these Brussels sprouts and uncured bacon ravioli. I don't know if this counts as a carb. This was kind of a last minute addition to the cart. I needed something for dinner that was quick. So maybe we don't count her. This is just dinner tonight. The reason I didn't get another carb is because I have rice and pasta galore in my pantry that I need to eat. I did grab some potatoes. I don't know if these are too small for mashed potatoes, but I'm gonna try. For fruits, we're doing pomegranate seeds. I make little yogurt parfaits. I usually do strawberries or blueberries or blackberries, occasionally a raspberry. Switched it up, we're going for pomegranates. And grapes, I'm on a grape kick, but make sure your dog doesn't get them. Sam wanted these, so I got her two packs. She's been working really hard. Her goal is to move on on her own for the very first time. Because of that, she's literally working as much as she possibly can, and I'm really proud of her. The least I could do is pick her up some chicken wontons. I also got some celery to nibble on with ranch or peanut butter. This is gonna count as a snack even though I already have some snacks in the fridge. I don't think this is a fail, it's celery. I got some wellness shots. I have no idea if these even do anything at all. It can't hurt. Everyone around here is getting sick, so let me just take this vitamin C one. Cheers. Okay. Actually, this can count as a carb. Hash brown patties. And then I got some lean ground beef. My grand total for everything was $59.21. That's including my extra dinner and the wontons. And I don't know if you guys have ever used DoorDash or Uber Eats or any type of meal ordering service. If you're ordering for two people on DoorDash, it's gonna be around $40. This should feed me for a couple days, especially because I am going to be using stuff that I have in my freezer. First successful grocery trip of 2023. And we might have made a potential friend. Sounds like a great day to me. Good things happen at the grocery store. I will say that only took me two seconds to put away. That was easy. If you could see how messy my kitchen is, ignore it. My whole downstairs is quite messy. That's on tomorrow's to-do list. Cause I'm gonna pack up all the Christmas decorations, clean everything. That just doesn't fit into today's schedule. I don't think I need to make all of them. Oh, I need to boil water. Hold on, maybe Sam would eat some. She probably hasn't had dinner. I'll just make all of them. It says four quarts, I should have measured. I think I'll be okay. Of lightly salted water. Okay. I'll see you when this is boiling. While I was relaxing today, I saw a girl post a video. Her name is Sierra Ann. This is her channel. No, she did a month without fast food. And when I tell you guys, I live off of DoorDash and fast food. I've said that how many times in this video? And she made shorts on her YouTube channel of the food that she was eating every day. I watched her recap video about it. It came up in my recommended, I swear. Our phones are listening to us. I kind of want to do it. I already deleted DoorDash and Uber Eats. The way that she described it, it wasn't like a diet, it was just not eating out a ton or eating fast food. I don't think she went to restaurants at all. I don't wanna say that I would never go to a restaurant, but I would definitely not do DoorDash or fast food. And I would try not to go to a restaurant unless it's like something special because I am moving in April back to St. Petersburg. I'm, I shouldn't have left. There are some places that I wanna go before I leave, even though I'm not leaving until like the end of April. I don't know why I feel like that's tomorrow. I don't really post shorts. And I could do like recap videos like she's doing. I would just be really interested to see how that affects my body because I have lived on fast food and DoorDash for years at this point. It could be so fun to remake my favorite fast food meals or even restaurants that I frequently DoorDash food from. Should I do it? Should I? Sierra Ann really has me inspired. I'm just gonna set a timer for six minutes. Start. I'm a chef of pre-made proportions. Don't judge the country crock. People probably use strainers, but this pot, the handles get really hot, so you can't like pick it up. So I figure I'll just scoop them out. I also have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Will she make it? We don't know. It looks nasty, but it's homemade. Kinda. A little salt. Let's go see if she'll eat. Two hours later. I had a lot of other things planned for this video. I think I've talked enough already for one video. I got changed into comfy sweatpants and a sweatshirt. I'm gonna start reading a new series. It's the Throne of Glass series. I've got my water bottle all filled up. More water, less soda. 2023. I'm pretty sure I told you guys my most important goals already. I have on here prioritizing self-care. Self-care can look a lot of different ways, but that is something that I want to prioritize this year. Every week I want to write down the things that I'm grateful for. I know people do that every single day. I don't know that I could come up with things every single day. 
I mean, I could if I really forced myself to, but I think that I would prefer to like just sit down once a week and really think about the things that I'm grateful for. I can just look at those when I'm journaling during the week as a good reminder that there are good things, even when my brain is telling me there's only bad things, which happens a lot. On New Year's Eve, I went through all of my pictures and made like that year in recap picture video that everyone was making on TikTok and stuff. And with that, the 2022 season comes to an end. Good night. It made me realize that the parts of 2022 that I enjoyed the most were when I was making myself the most uncomfortable. I've definitely heard people say like, you have to be uncomfortable to grow. Some of my best memories have come from me putting myself in situations that I'm not comfortable in. And not in a negative way, but as someone with social anxiety, I just don't step out of my comfort zone ever. I stepped out of my comfort zone in January to go to Disney World with Sam. Now she lives with me. I cannot imagine this past year without her in my life. And if I would have never just taken that step, we would have never became close. The last couple weeks that I lived in Florida, I made new friends and started doing the things that I wanted to do that made me happy. I would say the last three weeks before I moved from Florida were probably my best weeks out of the entire year. And it's only because I forced myself every single day to do something that I knew would make me happy even though it made me uncomfortable. That's how I wanna live this year. Obviously, I'm not gonna do something extraordinary every single day. I just wanna put myself in that position again and give myself those opportunities because looking back Back, those are the best memories that I've made and those are the memories that I want to continue to make especially while I'm young I've talked a lot in this video I just have so many thoughts about this year and I'm really excited about this year I know everyone making a bunch of New Year's resolutions setting all these goals can seem really cliche I've never really taken part in it I don't know if it's like a quarter-life crisis thing or what but for some reason, the past two months just really hit me that if I don't stop making excuses for myself and I don't work for the life that I know that I want, time is just gonna keep passing and all I'm gonna have is regret that I didn't get my shit together sooner. I'm not promising to be perfect. Even though I feel good right now, I know that there are going to be times where I don't feel great and that's when it's gonna be hard. It's obviously easy to put yourself out there and have fun when you're feeling good. The hard part comes when you're struggling. I can't remember a year that I looked back on and I was like, that was a really good year. I would love to relive that. Just because I haven't enjoyed my adult life up until this point doesn't mean that I can't start enjoying it and that I can't start living the life that I want. I know that's a lot easier said than done. This year, I'm just going to challenge myself and I'm going to share it with you guys. And maybe some of you guys can challenge yourselves too. And I think we can grow a lot this year. But don't write on my parade. I'm really excited and I feel really good. This is gonna be a lot of work. It can't be worse than the way I felt the past five years. So, well, knock on wood. I love you guys. Thank you for still being here. Who's ready to change?